Our favorite NBA YouTuber, Barry McCockner, is back with another video. Let's see what he has to say. I've done videos triggering NFL fan bases, MLB fan bases, and NBA superstar fan bases, but I've yet to do a video triggering NBA fan bases until now. I have lots of venom saved up for this one, so you should enjoy it unless your team is my target. Atlanta Hawks. The Hawks are never a real threat to win a title, even when they're good. Trading Luka okay. for Trey Young on draft Hawks. night was a massive mistake. Young puts up nice Okay. stats, but his shot selection and defense are atrocious. He isn't a great three-point shooter, and he looks like a lollipop that fell onto a rug. Oh He'll never God. win like... anything, just like the rest of this irrelevant <laughs> franchise. Boston Celtics. The Celtics are tied for the most titles in the history of the sport, Asterisk. but the vast oh majority of those <laughs> came in the Jim Crow <laughs> era, so they don't really yep. count. Just one measly title over the last 36 seasons. Measly. The same as the Raptors and Cavaliers. Larry Bird wasn't as good as Magic Johnson and is a massively overrated playoff performer. I would mm. slander Bill Russell, but all you racist ass Celtics fans already did that by breaking into his home and shitting on his bed among that whoa whoa whoa, whoa. I did not know that story. That is I didn't I didn't either. I that specific like, story is, is crazy. No, no, y'all are actually weird. What the <laughs> like like I can't I can't even do a bit. No, y'all y'all are weird. <laughs> That's crazy. The crazy thing about like the Boston racist narrative, I, I trust me, I'm not trying to defend anything. But the the actual franchise itself is like one of the most progressive franchises, especially during that time. But yeah, no, nah, the fans the fans are ruthless. Nah, it's 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 obvious you could tell. It's obvious you can tell. Tatum is just another Paul George, not a superstar. <laughs> Brooklyn Nets. What is mm -hmm. I, I thought about that. I the thought Nets? about that. <laughs> Seriously? Your entire franchise history is two finals trips led by wife oh beater God. slash drunk driver Jason Kidd, largely oh. due to playing in the worst conference in league history. You had one shot to be relevant again in 2021, but <laughs> fuck that up thanks to Kevin Durant's overgrown feet. Kyrie's Man. bullshit might not trigger you anymore, but I know what will. The fact that the Knicks are one of the worst franchises in sports over the Fact. last 25 years and they still own new york over you you'll Facts. always be second fiddle to a team run by james dolan ouch charlotte hornets how do i even slander a franchise that has never even made a conference Losers. finals should i talk about how kemba walker was an inefficient elf or how michael jordan is a horrible <laughs> owner who does nothing elf but smoke cigars and gamble Inef recklessly oh i got it Lamelo ball is, is hyped Williams up as a future star when in reality he's an overrated hot dog who doesn't actually hot make the team dog. better overrated i would trade him now dog. while he still has value he's a glorified Jason Williams with a famous family. Chicago Bulls. Bulls oh, wow. fans know better than anybody how badly the team has been run over the last couple decades, so I won't go okay. that route. Instead, let me go after what they hold dearly, which is the 90s. MJ's competition, uh -oh. especially in the finals, was complete dog shit compared to LeBron's. Yes, it was. Don't you talk Tough. back to me. MJ was lucky his LeBron peak years coincided with all the great teams that owned his ass LeBron in the 80s getting so old. If MJ had to face the KD <clears throat> Warriors in the finals, he would have retired mid-series. Derrick so Rose random. didn't deserve his MVP, and he also admitted he didn't know what consent was reason. while on trial for sexual assault. So humble. Cleveland Cavaliers. This team's right. relevance depends entirely on whether or not LeBron James feels like playing for them. I'm not sure insulting LeBron triggers Cavs fans because I don't know if most Cavs fans even like LeBron. I know most do, but there's what? this weird subsection of Cavs fans who still hate LeBron because he left them twice, even though he's the best player ever and he gave them 11 seasons, and most importantly, the most memorable title in sports wow. history. 2022 was the first time in literal decades this team showed any promise without the King to guide them. But I'm here to tell you Darius Garland and Evan Mobley are not good enough to be the lead dogs on a title team. Your best case hey, scenario you know is that. the Midwest version. Damn, Cavs fans! That's definitely triggering. That, hey, that's that's a, that's a triggering take. No cap. Because for him he to say that, that's what I'm saying. For for him to say that off of literally like two players who are still like three seasons in and have like crazy potential, nah, I'd be triggered. No cap. This is as far as I'll go, y'all. I wasn't a big Darius Garland fan, bro. I wasn't. And, and prior to this season, a lot of Cavs fans were hitting me up when I talked about, yo, trade Sexton or Garland because both of them are going to be eh. And they was like, nah, 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 Sage. I'm not trying to sound crazy. Darius Garland ain't proved himself yet either. But bro got a shot. He got one of the smoothest games in basketball. Sure enough, bro came out that bitch with the smoothest handle I've ever seen in my life. And Evan Mobley is just a fucking demigod in 2K. So they, they, I ain't gonna rule him out yet. I ain't gonna lie. I, gi I give him at least three more years to truly see what that, that duo can do. I probably would say pack up certain players like um Kevin Love, yes. Uh, You don't need to keep him as the vet anymore. You can just pack him up. Other players on the roster. I don't know the Cavs roster. I'll be honest. With Isaac Okoro. Yeah, oh, Isaac Okoro. <laughs> yeah. Like you, you, I think the Cavs are at the stage where they need to get vets, not overpay ones like Kevin Love, but get vets on the team that will push them a little bit and truly
truly see what DJ and Mobley can do, but I ain't gonna rule them out now. The Jay Crowders of the world. Yo, Sage, that's the go-to role player now. The Jay Crowders <laughs> of the world. The Yo, Robert who, Covingtons of the that's world. That's what I was saying. <laughs> they could really use a Jay Crowder in their locker room. All right, bro. If a Marcus Smart was available, a uh, rough rider. <laughs> oh, oh. All right, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Dallas Mavericks. Dirk Nowitzki's Can't 2011 title is massively overrated and wouldn't have even happened had LeBron not thrown the series. Dirk was a career Please. playoff Please. loser Damn. outside of that one fluke season. Now the team has stumbled into another generational <laughs> Yo, what Luka, is this? And I already know they won't win shit with him because he has the ball too much and doesn't play much defense. Mark Cuban holds himself up oh, to be a good guy, even though him. the team's front office history under his watch is full of sexual misconduct. Did you know a 15-year-old oh, girl got abducted at a Mavs game just a few months ago and was found weeks later in a hotel being sex trafficked? What a family-friendly environment, oh, Denver Nuggets. I'm a big Jokic fan, but his two MVPs are some of the most forgettable in MVPs Boston. in history. He has yeah. devalued the award to the point nobody even cares He's about it anymore. He'll never MVPs. be the best player in the league because defensively he gets picked on in crucial moments like we've seen in the playoffs over the last several years. Boy, Let's be real though, not even Denver really. <laughs> Yo, Swiper. What did you say? <laughs> yo, the Twitter streets know Swipe. I don't know if YouTube does, but yo, shout out Swipe. But I don't know if, if he's known on YouTube, no disrespect, but shout out my boy Swipe on Twitter, dog. <laughs> you can, I tell y'all this, chat. Go on Twitter, follow my boy, say anybody better than him. He got your ass. I ain't gonna lie. He got your ass. Anybody, literally anybody, he got your ass. Yeah, you can say you're honest. <laughs> Disagree. You say you can say Giannis. You can say Giannis. <laughs> the Nuggets could win the title on the same day as Russell Wilson posting a video about loving Jesus, and Wilson's video would lead the Denver News. Never forget Jamal Murray had premarital sex. Detroit Pistons. The Pistons <laughs> haven't been good for 15 years, so let's what go back slander? in time to their glory years. Pistons fans act like Bill Lambeer and Dennis Rodman were out there shooting rocket launchers and stabbing people with machetes in the late 80s when they weren't. If the oh. bad boy Pistons played in today's league, they would get demolished. Isaiah Thomas is considered Damn. an time great despite only having like two or three legitimately great years and being washed up before turning 30. He was also accused of sexual harassment, while fellow franchise hero in 2004 finals MVP Damn. Chauncey Billups was accused of sexual assault. Fuck this team. Damn. Golden State Warriors. <laughs> Steph Curry's legacy is built off of Kyrie getting hurt in the 2015 finals and begging Kevin Durant Jesus to join him Christ. in the Hamptons like a little bitch <laughs> after blowing a 3-1 lead in the finals. That's also to say nothing about Zaza deliberately injuring Kawhi in 2017 and Chris Paul's hamstrings exploding in 2018. <laughs> Showing Steph has never Curry beaten LeBron on an even play. playing field, and he will never be on LeBron's level all time. LeBron was the best player for all of his titles, while He's Steph was KD's LeBron sidekick for half his rings. He That's interesting, because he wouldn't have been the best in 2011, but he shit the bed. D-Wade was supposed to be finals MVP. So, I ain't gonna lie, you are lucky that he actually lost. Because that, that whole idea of, yo, he was the finals MVP in every single one of his titles would not have been the case. If he just even had, like, you know, one 30 point game in like game five so that they close out the series because even with lebron playing trash it was still a winnable series they were up 2-0 but hey he finally broke through to win finals shit, MVP on his Good sixth shit. try this year, Thanks. and now he has the same postseason <laughs> resume as Tony Parker. Big whoop. Steph did not change the game. The analytics movement oh. did. Steph is a terrible defender no matter what anybody says, and he sucks oh. when trailing in the fourth quarter of playoff games. Thankfully for oh. him, he's always had clutch teammates to make the pressure-filled shots for him. Steph fans think that his gravity, aka him running around in circles without the ball, makes him the second best player ever. Please fuck all the way off, you fucking dipshits. Houston Rockets. <laughs> James Harden helped revitalize the franchise and at the same time is the worst superstar to ever watch play and one of the biggest chokers in NBA history. If Harden Jesus had played Christ. up to his regular season standard in the playoffs, the Rockets might have one or two more rings right now. Your team That's will never live true. down missing 27 <laughs> straight threes true. at home in Game 7 with a chance to knock the Warriors is out so in 2018. Crazy, Hakeem Olajuwon is beloved by everybody even though he only won two rings because MJ got suspended and he only made it past the second round four times in an 18-year career. Shaq was better. Indian Indiana Pacers. Shaq the Pacers are always irrelevant, and even in the rare times when they are good, they're boring the as shit to watch. LeBron I've never heard anybody say, yo game, fam, bro. put the Pacers game on. This copy team is paste, always terrible paste. offensively and pretty good LeBron, defensively, LeBron, LeBron, and LeBron. they've never won anything. This team will always be known as LeBron's bitch in the postseason, <laughs> and their current <laughs> roster is disgustingly Broken bad. Hoosiers LeBron is one of the most closed, overrated bro. movies ever, and Jimmy no, Chitwood yeah. sucked or ass. Type Los Angeles Clippers. The biggest paper tires in the NBA for the last decade. Lob City was one of the biggest failures ever, 
and so far the Kawhi Paul George era has been just as bad. LeBron's Lakers have gotten more hate over the last three years while winning a title than Kawhi's Clippers have gotten for not even making a finals. Kawhi mm, has the knees of an 85-year-old yeah, man and Paul George yeah, is actually the true. version of the Atlanta Falcons. This team will always have talent and will always choke when it matters most. Steve Ballmer has the media in his pocket, but not me. Fuck the Clippers. Los Angeles Lakers. Lakers fans right. are the trust fund babies of the NBA. Kobe Bryant yeah. is the most overrated player in NBA history. He is no. constantly put in conversations <laughs> with MJ and LeBron when he isn't on that level. Kobe wasn't even the best player on his own team for the majority of his rings. Congrats on watching Shaq average 35 mm. points a game in the finals multiple times, but that doesn't make you better than LeBron. Speaking of LeBron, Wait, without him blessing this shit franchise in 2018, they would be going on a decade of losing seasons because they are run by a woman whose Twitter Abby is something you'd see on OnlyFans. <laughs> it's really tough to be bad with LeBron on your team, but this shit franchise has managed to do it. Imagine got how bad they'll be once you got one. One. Memphis Grizzlies. One of Dylan Brooks' own shots one. just broke through my living room window one. as I said this. Thanks a lot, Dylan. For the first time in nearly three decades, this team actually has an exciting young star to build around. That's progress, but guess what? It doesn't matter. John Morant could develop into a top five point guard ever, and Memphis will still never win shit because it's Memphis. Morant <laughs> will always be a defensive liability, and I wouldn't be surprised if he demands a trade at some point because what potential superstar player would ever want to willingly live in Memphis for the majority of their adult life? Miami Heat. Guess what, Heat fans? Nobody gives a fuck about your Heat culture. We always hear Fast! about Miami Heat Extra. Yes! Yes! Yeah! 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 average outside of the LeBron years. Why is that? Is the he got that dog in him not a sound offensive strategy? You had a game seven at home to go back to the finals. Oh. Fast! Maybe if you didn't the roster spot on your Donna's house. Hey! Hey, see, put it on the screen, bro. I saw Jimmy Butler was in the gym lately, practicing a specific shot from a specific position on the court. Wonder why. Oh, my. <laughs> he knows what he needs to work on, bro. Transition threes. Bro, is that... <laughs> we all saw it. Y'all are so dumb, bro. Oh my god. Jimmy, you good, bro. You had an amazing S-tier playoff run, bro. Motherfucker said, must have been my hair that caused me to miss that. No, it wasn't, Jimmy! <laughs> he got fucking bundles. <laughs> <laughs> he said, ah, god damn it, anymore. <laughs> Corpse for the 10th straight year, you would have won. D Wade had one great ref aided playoff run in 2006, but after that, never did Slater anything in the playoffs nuts. without LeBron the rest of his career. Yes, LeBron very, showed very in the 2011 finals, but Wade was even <laughs> worse in the 2011 stinky. conference finals and 2014 NBA finals. Milwaukee Bucks. If Giannis was six foot two instead of six foot 11, he would be working at Red Robin. Giannis is oh, a monster. God, dominance, I, I still don't fear him God. in a half court setting late in games because he I mean, can't hit that shack too. Milwaukee's what the fuck? A Obama lot of was hurt. Anthony Davis was hurt. Kawhi was hurt. Harden was hurt. Kyrie was hurt. If KD was one inch back, they would have lost in the second round. Giannis goes down, and the team still won two crucial conference finals games without him. The Bucks are never winning another title with Giannis, and maybe that's because the team oh. takes after its co-owner Aaron Rodgers, always choking in These the are playoffs. A lot of air balls. <laughs> Minnesota Timberwolves. Nah, it would nah. be a shame if you blew up that, your that future to acquire lit. Rudy Gobert. Oh, oh shit! You actually did it. What a bunch of idiots! <laughs> and you didn't even trade away D'Angelo Russell, a guy who actively makes. Yeah. Every team he plays for worse. Oh look, another protester just glued themselves to your Man, home court. Kevin Garnett is far and away the best player yeah. this shit franchise has ever produced. But if we're being oh. real, he was a fake tough guy and a mental midget in the playoffs. If he was a truly mental as great as Tim Duncan, like oh. his supporters say, he would That's have won more than two. That's fighting words. I ain't gonna lie, mental midget. I don't like pulling this card a lot, but he would not say that to KG's face, bro. You're a mental midget. Yeah, I hate that card. I, I check him in the shorts. You see people pull that shit all the time. No, I'm with y'all this time. You are not called mental midget is crazy. <laughs> yes. No, no. I've been called do rag boy, and I've been like, oh my god, lean the nigga for that. No, I'm not. <laughs> mental midget. No, that's nuts. That's nuts. A franchise that has never made it beyond the second round despite having Chris Paul and Anthony Davis at their best, Pelicans fans can be very arrogant. Here's a news flash: You didn't win the Anthony Davis trade, and the only way you'll ever win the Anthony Davis trade is if you win two titles with Brandon Ingram. Bragging about picks you swap from the Lakers that you haven't won a playoff series yeah, with yet is hilarious. Have some fucking shame. None of this will even matter if Zion doesn't reach his legendary potential, which at this point, it looks like he most likely will not. New York Knicks. That's Oklahoma City Thunder. 
you think you got hope? This franchise I got hope. Zero titles. But- I still remember during the season we had that is job better than you. You had that is job better than Zion taking. I was like, <laughs> nah, it's Zion can still be better. You wanted to close the book yeah. so quick. Ah, uh, nah, Zion still has the potential. I want to close it. Nah, you was ready to close it, bro. You're like, let's stop the cap. Jaw's better. I'm ready to close the book on who is the better pick because Jaw going to be there. I say that. But if I did say what you're saying, then I've, I've matured. You know that? You can do that. Fun fact. You can grow up. <laughs> say, but, uh, what I will say is when they, if they when they both on the court, Zion could still be better than Jaw right now. And that sounds crazy, but it could be, it could be possible. But damn. Is he going to stay on the court, bruh? But that's the thing. You you were ready to close the book on Zion being a better pick yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. He could, that, he that's could, true. That's he true. Could be on the, he could be on the floor. That's the thing. That's why I didn't want to close it out. We'll see. We'll see. I'm rooting for Zion. I have no beef against Zion. I want legendary talent in the league. Just stay in the league. God damn it. Durant, Westbrook, and Harden together. Or how Kevin Durant cucked them in 2016. Oh, yeah. Okay. But see, those see, stories have been how the fuck millions did that of times already. Work? So let's take a different <laughs> how angle. Did you the last that? few years, the Thunder have done the same thing the 76ers did during the Sam Hinkie era with the process and have gotten none of the shit for it because Sam Presti is a media darling. Resting healthy players for no reason to tank we and getting high draft picks it. like Chet Holmgren and potentially Victor Wembenyama this, next year. Guess what? This, this strategy is like crypto. Movement. It sounds good and gives you kind false hope for the future, but inevitably ends up being a complete dud. Enjoy it, OKC fans. Orlando Magic. I followed the NBA religiously, and I completely forgot the Magic made the playoffs back-to-back years in 2019 and 2020. That sums up how irrelevant this team is. The only thing this waste of a franchise is good for is robbing everybody of a Kobe LeBron finals in 2009. Ah, and giving I was gonna say, you were pushing that Kobe Lakers thing, your man Imagine ain't show that. up. Losing a finals to the that Lakers was crazy. giving away the two best players you ever had to the Lakers. Guess where the Lakers won their last title in 2020? That's right, Orlando. The Magic exists is solely to be the Lakers with Dwight. Kid. Philadelphia 76ers. <laughs> Joel and just Dwight. flopped through my living room window as I said this. The 76ers oh, okay. spent an entire decade bragging about the process and for what? Really, what has it gotten them? A couple so second brave, round bro. exits? And Bean is a fucking disgrace to watch while he's flopping and ref baiting and has consistently gotten hurt and played worse <laughs> in the playoffs his entire career. <laughs> he's still never played multiple playoff series in the same season without missing a game. He's the actual street clothes that people call Anthony Davis. Oh yeah, James mm-hmm. Harden's on the team too and he's fat and washed up, so who cares? Good luck winning with Doc Rivers as a coach. Phoenix Suns. Well, Suns fans, you had your little two-year window of being relevant, and it's gone. How ironic is it that you passed up Luka in 2018 for DeAndre Ayton, then Luka went into your house in Game 7 and dropped his nuts all over your team. Any team that 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 plays Chris will always be cursed in the playoffs. Devin Booker is extremely inconsistent and gets a little bit overrated because his fans are sexually attracted to him. You can't win a title with Booker as your best player. The last two years have shown that. I also haven't forgotten about all the shit Robert Sarver has done. Portland Trailblazers. Damian Lillard is not running from the grind. No offense to Urban Meyer. Did you know that Dame is loyal and not like other stars? What a fucking hero. In reality, Dame didn't deserve (laughs) to make the NBA's 75th anniversary team. He's never played any defense, and although he has a few famous postseason buzzer beaters, his playoff career is pretty bad outside of a few series. The Blazers won't win any titles as long as he is their best player. At least Dame can say he's never been accused of rape like his head coach, though. Great job settling out of court, Chauncey. Totally (laughs) innocent thing to do. Sacramento Kings. I don't think Kings fans even exist anymore, but I'll give it my best shot. Blaming the 2002 yeah, team choking away a 3-2 lead on the refs is kind of lame. Yeah, I know, it was said to be fixed, but you still had a Game 7 yeah. at home, the game was up for grabs late, and you guys didn't make the crucial shots to win. That's not the refs' fault. Don't forget, if Vladi Divac didn't swat the ball out to Robert Ori in the final seconds of Game 4, you guys would have gone up 3-1. That's not mm. on the refs. The series was there for the taking, and you just blew it. You would have won the title hey, that year, like too, if you didn't shoot your pants. Sprint. Had you won it all in 2002, hmm. maybe Maybe you get over the mental hump and become a dynasty. It wouldn't be going 16 years straight without. Yo, that's fuck. He's San playing mental warfare. The no, he's a genius. The model franchise for two decades, I mean, and now they've evolved into shit. But that doesn't stop the media from propping up Greg Popovich, which is ironic considering he's always treated them like shit. I know everybody loves Tim Duncan, but can we at least be real about his career? The guy put up oh, Carl's no. Boozer numbers oh. offensively the last decade of his. Career. All right. Oh. I forgot who said this, but I remember one person who specifically had this. Take two. What the fuck? 
I may can't remember him. Yo, you know it's crazy, bro. He brought up Kobe being most overrated. Fine, whatever. I think Kobe is on the most overhated, but he ain't number one for me no more. Kobe, you was was my number one. It is now Tim Duncan, and I don't think it's close. Every time someone brings up a power forward or a big, it's always he's better than Tim Duncan. You're talking to a Lakers fan, and yeah, the 80 over Tim Duncan thing for the shorts people, it was a troll, bro. <laughs> it was a troll, bro. Like that this shit is out of hand bro it, it's it's tim this is nuts bro one i'm looking at the screenshot he's cherry picking because he starts tim duncan stats from 07 07 <laughs> two let's be honest if a player is carlos boozer on offense and like all-time great on defense is that even bad is that is that bad is that bad if carlos boozer was a dpoi player oh that's actually pretty fucking good i ain't gonna lie but Come on, man. Never got any shit for losing or underperforming despite keeping the reputation of a superstar until the day he retired. I still don't know how he did it. If your team had made just a oh few more God. free throws in 2013, you'd have six rings right now instead of five. This might not seem like a big deal until you realize your team is never winning any rings ever again. Ray Allen, Toronto Raptors. <laughs> hey, remember when the Raptors won the NBA <laughs> title not even five years ago? <laughs> Me neither. That's because the team's entire relevance depended on Kawhi Leonard staying, and once he pieced out in free agency, the Raptors went back to being forgotten. Had Kawhi hey, stayed, the Raptors might have had that another ring or two now. But I guess Canada isn't all that it's it cracked up to be. Do. Drake sucks and LeBron still owns you well. Oh, wow. Utah Jazz. <laughs> the best player in franchise history impregnated a 13-year-old, and the second best player in franchise history is a conspiracy weirdo who never scored 35 <laughs> points in an NBA game despite having nearly 1,700 tries at it. Utah is also famous for being one of the most racist environments for black yeah, opposing players. He's it's cooking. karma that this team has never won a ring and probably never will now that they're rebuilding again. Again. Jazz fans single-handedly made Rudy Gobert Mitch, the Rudy most Gacho. hated player in the league with their advanced stats that overrate the fuck out of them. The state of Utah sucks ass. And finally, the Washington Wizards. How do you trigger a fan base whose team hasn't made a conference final since the 1970s? Do Wizards fans even exist? John Wall is the they last do. legit good player they this do. team has had, and that was six years ago. Gilbert Arenas will live on forever in NBA lore, even though he was only good for three years and is a legitimate psychopath. The Wizards are so irrelevant that people don't even want to acknowledge that Michael Jordan played for them. Much like Yamcha from yeah. Dragon Ball Z, the Wizards used to be important, but as time progressed, they've just become more and more irrelevant. Mm. You know what's crazy? Yamcha weren't even that relevant in Dragon Ball. But that's besides the point. Oh my god. He really wasn't. He beat up Goku in the desert, and that was it. Didn't even beat him up. Lost. Uh, But, oh man. Most of this won't even hate, bro. It was just the truth. He cooked on the Blazers. He cooked on the Jazz. The latter half of the Lakers, he got he got me. He got me. I ain't gonna lie. I was mad at first. I was like, this is just hating. Man, he started spitting at the end. If you want to see us react to another Barry video, go ahead. Check it out right here. It is on your screen. And we will catch you on the next one. Peace out. Also, Drake doesn't suck.